Hello, welcome to 101nursing.com. I am Priscilla. Today we'll be talking about feeding SVT, proximal superior ventricular tachycardia. Hey guys, welcome. Let's jump right in to our proximal superior ventricular tachycardia. PSVT for short, and this is the strip that I found that best explains without confusing people. This is a regular EKG, not a 12 lead, because 12 leads gonna lead to a hot mess. So let's start with this. Now you guys can see that there is normal sinus rhythm um, here. These, these like last few, these last few beats. You guys can see that these last few beats have normal sinus rhythm. And then this is the game taker. This PSVT. Almost looks like a flutter, but we'll get into flutters a little later. But is there a P wave? Yes. Is there a QRS? Yes, there is a QRS. Is there a P for every QRS? Yes, there is a P for every Q, every QRS. Is it regular? No, because this is very small as opposed to this wide range right here. There's, this is wide right here and this is small right here. So small, wide, not regular. Is the PRI interval normal? Yes, it usually is normal. And if you want to blow it up, you can, I mean, it's already blown up as much as it's going to go. And it's about three. I, I'm counting one, two, three, maybe four boxes, three to four boxes. That's normal. It's between that 0 0.12 to 2.0, or 0, yeah, 0 0.20 area in which we want our QR or PR interval to be. Is our QRS interval normal? Yes, it is. Our QRS is one to three. We are one, two three boxes and that is normal. We want our QRS to be 0 0.04 to 0 0.12. So that's three boxes. That is normal. Um, is our rate normal? No, it's not normal. Why? Because we are in tachycardia. And if you want to count the rate with me, one, two, three, four, five, 9, 10, 11. We're already past. It's tachycardia. Um, there's another way that you can be more accurate with counting the rates is by counting these individual boxes here. Um, but um, to be exact on the actual rate, but I like to do it the fast way when counting rates. So well, how do, can you tell that it's PSVT? Because um, even if you don't have a sinus rhythm, you're going to have this really weird, um, just PQRS, 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 PQRS. It's going to be really fast and it's going to hit you out of nowhere. What causes uh, PSVT? Um, simulation, coronary, coronary artery disease, um, a topic foci in the atrium. Stress can cause it over exacerbation, and what you're going to find is decreased cardiac output because it's not repolarizing. You don't have your ST factor there, um, and it's going to be you can have dyspnea, angina, chest pain, uh, hypotension. Um, you're going to have, and how do you treat this? The very weird way to treat this is to vagal maneuver. What's vagal maneuver? You know, when you poop and you just bear down or cough, that's how you get yourself outside of this rhythm. And that's how people pass out, actually. <laughs> that's how Elvis Presley, that's how Elvis Presley passed away. He vagaled maneuver. Fun fact, huh? But vagal maneuver is bearing down or coughing using your vagus nerve, and, and it removes the cause. The cause. It removes the cause. You can use um, adenosine, 6 milligrams to 12 milligrams, and you want to push it fast. Um, impossible um, cardioversion.
So what do you do for PSVT, vagal maneuver, and adenosine, adenosine, hard, adenosine for fast. And that is it for our PSVT. Woohoo!